What's up, everybody? Sparrowood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers' Im Inspiration Series. Imperation Series. Whatever that is. Um, so this time, I think we're going to keep it on a little bit smaller scale. May not do any super huge, crazy frame rate killing machines of whatnots, but some fighter type designs, because I saw a few of them and I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, this one in particular caught my eye. It's actually a large ship, but it looks pretty sweet, actually. Um, we've got complete with glowing lights for the entrance, which is pretty cool. Uh, we do have gravity in here. They made seats for passengers, so I guess this is more of a passenger seat um, ship since I didn't see any weapons on it. Um, let's see, what else does it have? Merge blocks for boarding, by the looks of things. Uh, connector slash... or I guess that's just a connector. Merge blocks on the bottom, landing gears, beacons... And... lights. So you've got a... Forward lights, see where we're going, and landing lights, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like it moves pretty good, too. Um, the... Author... Don't remember who it is. Um, check in the description, it'll be there. As, as usual. Uh, but yeah, I like how this maneuvers. It's a nice little fighter type design. I would personally like um, to turn it into a fighter. Like, I would I would want to add some conveyor systems with some chain guns, at least, maybe. But I like the design. The design looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah. That's a pretty quick one. There's not a whole lot to do, but I just like the design. I thought it looked really neat. Um, so I guess we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now this one is a little different. It's not quite a fighter. I know I said we were going to do fighters today, but... Um, the This caught my eye, and so the other one didn't take as long as I thought it would. But this is a retractable, or extendable, depending on how you want to look at it, conveyor system. So as you can see, it's almost flush with the dock here, and you've got a long... Got two rotors. I think those are two rotors. That's weird. It's like they don't have the front end. I don't know how they did that. It's pretty interesting, though. Instead of like using landing gears, they use rotors. Huh. That's weird. I'd have to try that. I don't know how they did that. Um, this was made by like MK84, I think was the name. Again, check the description. So here's where you input stuff. You have gravity. I'm not really sure what the gravity generator is there for. I didn't read the description or anything, so I don't know how this is supposed to work. I'm just guessing. Conveyor boom. Transfer pump. So that's the two connectors. So let's see if we reverse this. So if we reverse this, it's reversing, I'm assuming one or all of those rotors, and they're tiny rotors, they're small ship rotors, um, that they're, there's something, I'm not explaining this very well, am I? There's a row of blocks connected to the side of the rotor, and then one connected to the pivot point of each rotor to create a chain type of system, which is neat. I've never seen it done before in this manner, uh, but it's pretty, pretty darn cool, actually. Okay, I think I... I don't know how you would build that, actually, with the rotor mechanics the way they are. But they can extend out, and then when you've extended it out, um, you can hit the transfer pump, turn them both... or turn them on, and... I don't know... Okay, there's one over here, so it would connect to whatever ship you were dealing with. And then there's one... back here... that would shoot the stuff out. So, like, this one would shoot out, it would hit the collector, and the, what I think is a small, or a medium storage crate, and then it would go out through the line, out to this point, which would also be throwing out. Um, and then when you're done... Uh, grab that. You could... reverse it. Okay, and it is all these mounts, so some of the rotors are set to off, some of the ones that are actually turning are set to a certain point. So that's pretty awesome. 
and then it just um and eventually it brings itself back in that's pretty sweet actually that's kind of cool so I may end up copying this in our survival let's play at some point because I like this design this is pretty neat um, okay so that's it for that one on to the next one okay so this one is the Cylon Raider ship by no ID and it's important I, I want to point out that um, when you download the world there's actually like five of these fighters I deleted them for frame rate purposes because they all looked like they were the same thing I hope they're all the same thing otherwise I just deleted copies of cool stuff um, so I like the design of this one it looks really cool it kind of reminds me of like something you'd see on Star Trek or Star Wars like um Klingon or Romulan type ship if, if it were painted green or something. The weapon systems on it look pretty intense as well. Now the one thing I don't know is what size ship this is. I don't know if it's a large or if this is a small ship. Actually, I don't even know where the cockpit is. How do you get in here? There's gotta be a... Uh, okay, that's the cockpit right there. How might one get into the cockpit to fly it? <laughs> I like the ship, but where's the door? Okay, this is definitely a small ship, by the way. I just kind of figured that out. Um, seriously, though, I don't see a door. How do I get in here? How do you make a ship with no door? Wow, this is a very difficult ship to get into. <laughs> Don't try this at home, we're professionals. Alright, HUD on. Okay, so we've got six chain guns, which is pretty intense. Like, that's gonna do some damage, right? And then it looks like we have four missile pods. Also going to do some damage. Actually... Um... Wow! This actually flies really good. I thought for being bigger, a bigger ship it wouldn't do it, but... Yeah! This is a nice fighter! This is what I should have built on my, um... On my survival world. This thing would have probably done some damage to that, uh, to some of those interceptor ships, right? Oh, no, that's cool. As you're flying, if you turn and fire, you get a cool... How did I do that? Yeah, there we go. It's like, oh! Or you blow off part of your wing. So let's go this way. No! Don't! <laughs> don't turn while firing! That is a bad idea, people! What were you thinking? Why did you tell me to do that? There, No, that's a horrible idea. I would have never done that on my own. Um... So, minus the uh, inability to turn and fire rockets, this is a really cool ship. I like the design. So, yeah, there's that. Alright, I guess it's time to go on to the next one. Okay, so here's our last one, and it looks cool. I can't wait to try it out. It's a small warhead machine launcher. I did not catch the uh, author ID. Again, check the description because I don't remember what it is. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Um, but this looks cool. I'm trying to figure out kind of how it works before I do anything. So we've got gravity. They're, they're it's apparently off. That seems ineffective. 
So I'm guessing these wheels are probably set up on what I consider limp rotors so that you can turn it as much like whenever you want kind of thing. That would be my guess. And then this is to guide the reload wheel. I'm guessing. Where does it... Oh, gosh. That looks dangerous. Why is there a... Oh, okay. It's open. I was like, there's glass there. What is it doing? So what I'm trying to figure out... Okay, this is a this is the belt. These don't launch anywhere. Okay, so the belt runs along these wheels. This keeps them from going out of alignment. And then when you get them in line, you hit P to release a landing gear or... No, you probably can't hit P. You would release all of them. So you'd unlock the next landing gear and then it would... The gravity would kick in and fire it. And then how does this part work? So this then wheels or winds the wheel back up. Or the belt back up, I guess. So let's get in and try I think that's how it works. So let's get in and try it. Because what could possibly go wrong? Wait! I thought there wasn't any gravity. Oh, they must have really like narrowed the field to where it only affects this area, I guess. Okay, so I'm turning with the mouse, and I believe I was right that you can just kind of freely turn it. We gotta watch the belt, though. Whoa! You much. Because the belt would probably get screwed up if we wiggled too quickly. So let's... Oh, the, the rocket launcher is for the laser sight. That's pretty cool. Okay. Alright. I don't know what all this <clears throat> stuff is. Okay, this looks like gra all the gravity. We'll leave that. I don't want to mess with that. Merge block into rocket launcher. Horizontal. Okay, this is a gear. Rotor. I'm beginning to get the feeling that this is in a different language. Right clip, left clip. I also don't see the landing gears anywhere. Cockpit. Gyroscope, interior light, merge block. Launcher. Horizontal. That's a rotor. Rotor, rotor, rotor. Hmm. I really don't see any landing gears. Alright, well, we're just gonna go with it, so... I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay. Um, you let me see what I'm doing. So this is winding, like I said. <sighs> oh! Oh, they're set to auto-lock! Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is awesome! Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So they're set to auto-lock and the gravity pushes them out? That's brilliant! This is such an ingenious contraption, it blows my mind. Every space station should have one of these. Can you do ver- <gasps> Wait, how am I doing vertical? How are- How does that work? Dude, how many? Oh no! Oh no! Chain reaction! <sighs> Not my fault. Not my fault. Not my fault. Somebody put a wall in my way. Um. I blame user error. <laughs> um. 
I don't think that was the developer's fault. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am terrible at these. I always end up blowing up these massively amazing creations people build and I end up trashing them. Okay, let's just forget this ever happened, shall we? Let's just bask in how awesome that was. Again, rule of thumb, don't turn while firing. Turn the thing off. Okay, so this is how we, this is how we were doing vertical. There's a rotor here that you can point downwards. That is awesome! It was awesome uh, until I started using it. Um, you know what? I can fix this. Ready? Alright, uh, let me grab a welder here. And we're going to... We're going to fix this. Alright. So, where... No. Where's... There's a certain point that I need to find. I read about this somewhere. I think it's the point connected to the route... The, 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 the router. The rotor? Is that it? Is it this thing? Yep, it's this thing. Okay. That should do it. That's one of those master control points. Yep, there we go. Good as new. Awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it on that. And... Yeah, I think this is awesome. I know this is a bit of a shorter episode and we ran through a bunch of things. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, still a bunch of cool stuff, a lot of little fighters. And this thing is just... Beast. I would bet money on the fact that the developer who made this played with Nerf guns as a kid, because that's what this reminds me of, like, the, the wound-up wheel belt-fed type thing. It just, I don't know, it looks like a Nerf, dun Nerf gun on steroids that fires warheads or something. I don't know. Um, how did they do the chain, anyway? These, these chain and piston mechanics I'm always fascinated by. So I guess they're doing, like, limp rotors, or locked rotors, one of the two. And then landing gears holding the- okay. That's pretty awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!